everyone welcome back to another counter side video so today we are going to discuss some pvp matches that i actually pre-recorded already um i did a couple today and i'll show you guys how i was able to beat nayu bin and along the way i'll do some commentary on the specifics of the different matches that i have obviously i didn't win all of them but i'll be showing you um all the matches that i won Probably my winning percentage against Nayubin without bringing Nayubin is around 50%. That's just an assumption. So more or less 50% win rate. Um, I haven't yet um, tweaked my Rangers because the key to winning uh, versus Nayubin is going to be your Rangers. So let's start this match first. So I started basically with this lineup. So um, I have here Hilde, Awakened Hilde. You can actually put here, um, what do you call this, Serapel. Um, as long as she is actually at level, I think, 104 and up or 106, where she can tank as well. So this is the initial lineup that I brought. So let's take a look at what happened during this match. So by this time, I already had two consecutive matches and uh, the enemy has one. So again, four Rangers... The best gear to bring when you're matched up with Nayubin is at least bring one, one ranger that has anti-defender gear set. So that's the best suggestion that I could give you. Some of some of um, what's call this? Some would actually use um, the the rifleman, the admin soldier rifleman, which is um, two two cost only and also redeployable as fast as uh, we can but for my teams i would usually bring either either um Gayun and also i would bring what do you call this kyle wong to the battle so again it's actually very difficult to be on a matchup with nayu bin because usually again as you can see there as you can see on top here attack speed your attack speed is actually slowed already and also your skill haste is being slowed as well so that is actually the the very big drawback if you don't bring nayubin yourself so one of the keys here is actually bring stuns um sylvia would be the what would be good and also what do you call this and also gayon would be good and what is important actually guys is also to take out the back line so that is going to be your key here as you can see here in the first match let's go to my second match where more or less i employed the same tactic if i had put anti-defender gear on at least one ranger um it could have been better because he would be softer to hit so anti anti anti-defender um, gear set is going to be your friend here so again try to equip at least one ranger with that one because rangers as you can see here hit more uh versus defenders so let, let, let's take a look at this match first um for the second match because i didn't have any commentary for the first man so as you can see deployment of uh now you've been see skill haste is already a minus 30 percent as they enter skill haste is a minus 30 again so from from that point you are really going to be suffer a lot of buffs um hit minus 30 attack minus 30 so was it minus 30 i'm not sure but there was actually a red and minus so attack speed um you name it and there are a lot of debuffs actually that he brings so um there is no really counter for him it's more on strategy um more on who you're gonna bring what ship you're gonna bring as you can see there i was able to sandwich them and put out uh yumina so more or less that is what my strategy is for now i'll be experimenting using um anti-defender gear and see if um he is going to go down more quickly than without your anti-defender gear set so again he's been redeployed i noticed that um you usually redeploy him faster because of uh, lin shin 
So I think the enemy has Lin Xin. I actually forgot to check out his lineup. But more or less, that is going to be your strategy moving forward for him. So the big so for this one, for the next one. But this is my lineup already. Um it hasn't it hasn't been changed yet. So let's move forward. Wrong battle that one. I'm sorry guys. Had <laughs> to see that. But let's move forward. Okay. So I'm I'm sure this is the one that has now you been um in, uh deployed after or in the middle of the deployment. So again, um your ship comes into play because again you have to make sure that um, the backline is moved in front. So bringing in um, Lake Superior is going to be a factor. So here's now you've been. So again, um, bringing Yumina is going to be, factor, to be a factor. Also, I think if you bring um, effective would be also would be Elizabeth. Also, Kang Soo Yun. Kang Soo Yun would be very good because he would be able to distract a lot of backline, you know, backline uh, players or sorry, backline units that uh, the enemy has. So for this one, kind of bit of a confusion. I had to scramble to be able to take out the backline. So um, one battle is on the left, one battle is on the right, as you can see there. So I think I have I have two matches to show you more guys. Um again just take note of what I said. The backline is important that you take it out. Um anti-defender gear is going to be your friend here. Um equip it in your rangers as well so that um damage would be bigger um aside from the damage uh, from from the from this one. The disadvantage in terms of the roll as you can see here, another win for Nayu uh, against Nayu Bin. I think I have two more battles here. So again, my opinion on 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 taking out Nayu Bin, it's really difficult to take him out because again, because of the buffs that he gives. So, um, if I if I did bring Nayu Bin here myself, I think I would have a better win rate. But without um, bringing Nayu Bin, just only bringing Awakened Hilde or Serapel as your defender or probably um, Reginald King. Um, your win rate, as long as you do um, what they call this, you time your your ship skill and your and your Yumina or taking out the backline, you're gonna be good. And also, uh, placement is going to be going to be important as well. So as you can see here, I already was able to swap in Lin Shin. I think I was able to swap her in and I took out... Um, I forgot who I took out. Um, who did I take out? So again, early, early Yumina here to take out the backline as early as possible. So again, even, even what they call this, even Nayubin was already delayed and I was able to take him, him out. I think at this point so at this point i'm also struggling here to take him out with the last remaining life that he has and um it, it's a good thing that the back line is is also being staggered so again niobin is out so this is going to be so i was able to summon a weekend hilde and try to also bolster my front line so Again, it was a scramble to be able to take Nayu Bin. So, again, a lot of modifications to your gear would really, really help. Because at this point, I, I just have my regular gear that, that I use. I don't have pretty much any modifications, special modifications against Defender. I, I, I'd like to clear that out. So, again, as you can see here, he actually tried to have a comeback. As you can see there. So again, that is how powerful now you bin is. Um, I can't really stress how important that you prepare uh, for any match versus now you bin. So again, that's the last match. So I think I gave you guys four matches. So 
that's it guys so i hope you like this video um that i made uh, in terms of how um how to defeat now you've been the timing what to bring um more on i don't have a particularly good uh, i don't have a particular ranger in mind but again rangers will play a big part in you dismantling it okay guys so anyway take care guys um thank you very much for staying this far in this video also please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon and also put a like to this video take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here